function notation. Instead of writing y equals, sometimes you will see f of x equals. So for example, f of x equals 3x squared minus 5x plus 1. This is the function f evaluated for variable f. So instead of saying y equals, f of x is the name of the function. So let's say that we want to evaluate f of x when x equals 4. So what that means is we want to find what's called f of 4. The 4 is going to replace the x everywhere we see an x. So just like we've done before, rewrite, leave a parenthesis where you see the x, and then fill in what you're told x should be, in this case, 4. Then we can simplify down. 4 squared gives us 16. Three times 16 gives us 48. Five times four is 20. That gives us 29. Let's try again. This time we have function g of x. So our function is function g. And let's say that it equals negative x squared plus four x plus 1. And let's say that we want to evaluate this when x is negative 2. So that means we rewrite our function, but now every time we see an x, we leave a parenthesis. So instead of writing each of these x's, I wrote a parenthesis. And in that parenthesis we put negative 2. And then we can simplify. Negative 2 times negative 2 is positive 4. N 4 times the negative 1 in the front will give us negative 4. 4 times negative 2 is negative 8, plus 1. That gives us negative 11. So g of negative 2, or our function g of x evaluated when x is negative 2, equals negative 11. Let's try again. Let's do h. So h of x equals negative 3x plus 4. And this time, let's say when x equals 3t minus 2. So that means that we rewrite our function. And where we see x, we leave a parenthesis. We're filling in for x right here. So this goes in our parenthesis. and we can simplify that down. We'll have to distribute our negative 3. So negative 3 times 3t is negative 9t. Negative 3 times negative 2 is positive 6. Negative, oh, that's done distributing. We just bring down our 4. So negative 9t plus 10. Let's look at one given to us in a table. So let me write down this table real quick. Here we go. And we are asked for f of 5. So that means find the value when x is 5. So remember, normally it's f of x. But we don't have f of x, we have f of 5. So we want to know the value when x is replaced with 5. See x right there? is replaced with 5. Well, if x is replaced with 5, well, let's find our x. Here's 5, so our value is going to be 3. Let's try the next one. f of negative 4. 
So this time, x is replaced with negative 4. So if x is replaced with negative 4, here's our x. Let's replace with a negative 4. That gives us negative 6. Let's try the next one. So this means x is replaced with 2. x is replaced with 2. That gives us a value of 0. We can read this the other way, too. If f of x equals 6, what is x? Well, this time, f of x equals 6, not x. x is still in right here. So we want to know what x value should we use to make the answer to f of x equal 6. So look down the f of x side. Well, here it is right here. So in order to make f of x 6, f of x is 6, we need to use x equals 8. We can do the same thing from a graph. So we'll draw our graph real quick. There we go. F of zero. So that means when x equals zero, what is the value? So when x equals 0, that's right here, the value is 4. We have f of negative 2. So that means when x is negative 2, what's the y value? 0. And then it's kind of hard to see from my graph. I'll have to extend it up. There we go. There's 8. There we go. So the next one is saying, if f of x equals 8, what is x? So f of x equals 8. So that means the y value, the answer, the value of the function is 8. Find x. So that is right here, and it's a little bit more clear on the paper copy, but if you copy that straight down, that means the x value was 2.